Ah. Hi there, it's Craig here. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about mixers, since I've been asked about this uh, quite a few times since I did the MXL 990 microphone review. Now, there's a couple basic different types of mixers uh, in the world. There's uh, this type of mixer, <laughs> right? And there's this type of mixer. Now, the reason why I made that comparison is because in their respective genres of use, they both do exactly the same thing. They mix stuff together. When you're making a cake, you mix the ingredients for the cake batter with a mixer, and that blends everything all together into one. Well, that's exactly what these things do as well, and that's why they're called mixers. And I'm going to take the camera in a minute over here and show you very, very close up exactly how these things work and why all the knobs and how do they, how do you use one of these things? Everybody I think that knows anything about recording knows that these things are used in recording studios, whether it be a home recording studio or a, you know, a big professional studio. They're used all the time because they are used to mix the sounds together into one, one master mix so that when you listen to everything, it's all mixed together properly. And that's what these things are for. I'm going to specifically talk today about using the mixer in conjunction with your PC or your Mac. And, and the reason for that is because increasing numbers of people want to do podcasts or perhaps uh, broadcast live on services like Justin TV and whatnot. Your best option is to use a USB device to get your sound into your computer. Now you may be using a microphone, you may be using a guitar, you may be using um, a, a, key, a keyboard or, or something, you know, electronic that produces audio and you want to get that into your computer. And the best way to do that is with a, with a box or a device that you would plug that instrument into and that box will convert the signal into a USB signal, which is a, basically a digital um, pulse code that then goes into your computer and gets recorded on your hard drive. Now mixers like the one I've got here, which I again will show you in a minute, have a USB output on them. So anything I plug into this mixer will come out of the USB output into my computer. Now that's a lot better than using your computer's sound card to input things. Those little mini plugs on the back of your computer are not made for high quality audio. Not to mention the fact that your sound card is not very good quality. In fact, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the, that's the noise that comes off of my sound card. And it's very typical for computer sound cards or computer sound modules that are built in to make that kind of noise because they're so close to all the other circuitry and all the other radio frequency stuff that's going on inside your computer, they're just not going to be quiet. Now I've turned that, that sound card off and now I'll turn the volume up again and you'll see there's no sound. There's no noise from the mixer itself. It's very quiet. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this particular mixer. If you're just inputting one signal, like a, a microphone or a guitar or, or whatnot, then you just need, you know, a USB interface, like a fast track or, a, you know, an M audio device or one of those things. But if you want to mix several sounds together, like I do when I do my live Justin TV broadcast, then you're going to need a mixer. And I'm going to explain to you how the mixer works, and I'm going to explain to you exactly how I have it hooked up. Okay, so here's, here's my beast. Now this is a fairly small mixer compared to some of the ones you can see in big studios that have about 48 or maybe even 64 of these sliders here. These are called faders. Okay. Um, to explain a mixer, what you need to understand first of all is that each mixer has a certain number of channels, and that's what these are. Okay. Now this one appears to have eight channels, but in fact these last four here are stereo, so they can both they can each accept two separate signals, um, a left and a right. So in effect, that makes it a 12-channel mixer. All right. Okay. Um, mixers are divided up into channels. Each one of these, what are called strips, is a channel. Okay, so 
when you it's like it's like they're sliced up this is one channel this is another channel like it's kind of like a, a loaf of bread you know and each one of these channels are virtually exactly the same so if you can understand what goes on on one of these channels then you'll be able to understand what goes on on all the rest of them I know some people look at all these buttons and knobs and go what in the heck are all those for well again it's the same th it's the same thing just over and over again Let's start at the top here, where the signal comes in. This is where you're actually going to plug in um, microphone, guitar, okay? And that's where you plug it in. You've got an XLR jack back there. You've got a quarter inch jack here. We won't worry about that one. It's not important. Um, and that's where the signal comes in. You can see I've got something else plugged in on this channel, something else plugged in on this channel, maybe a microphone. This is where my MXL 990 is plugged in, and these channels are currently empty. There's nothing coming into those at the moment. So you can see that I've got at least four things plugged into the mixer at the same time, and I'm going to be able to mix those four sounds together so that at the output of the mixer, you'll hear them all mixed together. The first thing that usually uh, you usually see on a mixer when you work your way down the signal path, okay, is going to be an input level. Now, just back off for one second and just tell you that all mixers are basically laid out the same way. Some of them will have more knobs than others. Some of them will have knobs that this one doesn't have, and this one will have knobs that some of them don't have, other ones don't have. But that's just, you know, features, basically. They all basically have the same, they work the same. So if you learn how to use one mixer, you can pretty much use just about any mixer. All right, so you've got an input level here. This controls how loud the signal comes into the mixer. So if it's a loud signal, then you're going to want to turn this down a little bit. If it's a quiet signal, then you're going to want to turn that up. Okay, and there's a little LED that tells you if it's too loud, the little LED will come on. And that means you've got to turn it down a little bit. This is just a compressor. You don't have to worry about it. It just limits the, uh, the loudness of the signal to smooth it out a little bit so it doesn't distort. And that's what a compressor basically does. Only four of the channels have compressor. Okay, the other four don't. Okay, um, the next... Uh, buttons here, knobs, uh, these are called POTS by the way, POTs, potentiometers, um, they're just called POTS. And this, the three green ones here are basically your bass, mid-range, and treble. So if you want more bass, you turn that up. If you want less bass, you turn it down. And your mid-range and your treble. So you can tailor the sort of the sound uh, color of the sound uh, coming in. So if you want a little bit more a little more sibilance, you want to turn up your treble, if you want a little more oomph, if you turn up your bass and whatnot. So that's just like an equalizer. And it's called the EQ section. The next one here is uh, what's called an auxiliary send. Um, I'm going to try to explain this the best way I can. What this does, uh, somewhere over here in these myriad of jacks, there's an auxiliary send uh, jack. Okay, so let's imagine that there's an imaginary pipeline between this blue knob and one of these jacks at the back here. And each channel has its own little blue knob. So if I've got a signal coming through this channel, if I turn up the blue knob, that signal is going to be routed back to this auxiliary send jack over here. From there, it can be routed into an external device like a digital delay unit, reverb unit, or some other signal processor like that, okay? So that each individual channel can each be routed or not routed in different amounts out to this one output, which can then be routed into an effect pedal, a guitar pedal, and whatnot, and then brought back into the mixer so that you can mix that effect with your original sound. Okay, so it's, it's just like, um, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a send. Uh, it's a little valve that sends a signal out through a separate output so it can be routed through an effect and then brought back in. All right. This knob sort of does the same thing, except what it does is it routes the signal over to this section, which is a digital effects section. This mixer has built-in reverb, delay, chorus, flanger, distortion, all that stuff. Um, that's basically what it does. So if I want my my microphone to have a little bit of reverb on it, I can turn that up and then I can set this to reverb and the mic will have reverb or echo or whatever it is I set it to. Okay. 
Next one down here is called a pan. The pan will pan the signal either left or right or anywhere in between the two left and right speakers. Um, these channels are all, these. this particular one is mono. You can only plug one instrument or microphone at a time, but you can pan that instrument between left and right. Um, so in the final output, it'll be sitting wherever it is that you placed it in the stereo spectrum. Every channel has a pan. Every channel has all of these controls, except these two channels are missing the mid-range control. Here you go, you've got your channel on, channel off. So if I have a signal coming through here and I turn up my level, um, I can, if I turn this off, the, the, the signal will, will mute. And if I turn this on, of course, I'll hear my signal. Okay, uh, this here is a solo button. So if I've got all my channels turned on and all kinds of different signals are coming out, if I only want to hear this channel, I can press the solo button and all the other channels will be turned off and I'll only be hearing this one. And I might want to do that in case I want to make a fine tuning adjustment up here um, and not have to listen to it with everything else mixed in with it. Okay, now the nice thing about mix this mixer is it has these bus buttons. Okay, the nice thing about this is that I have two different outputs on the back. One of them is the master output. This is what you would hook up to a stereo amplifier so you can hear um, what, you're, what you're doing. Um, the other one is a record output. Okay, and so this is what adjusts the level that's going to come out of the mixer into your computer for recording. Now, each channel has two, two separate buttons. Um, if I press the red button, the sound will come out of the master outputs at the back. And if I press the gray button, the sound will come out of the recording outputs at the back of the mixer. And if I press them both, it'll come out of both. So essentially, I can be, um, I can be doing a broadcast and I can be, let's say I've got music coming in through here. Uh, I can have it coming out through my output where I'm listening to it, but I don't have to let you guys hear it because you guys are listening to the recording mixture. So I can actually preview a song without you guys hearing it, just to make sure I want to play the song. So it's like two separate, it's like it's called a bus. Some mixers have many of these, um, but this just has two. That's basically it. Um, there's a few other knobs over here for headphone control, um, a couple other small things over here that it's not important, um, and that's basically how these things work. Now, these channels here um, are stereo, which means I can plug in a stereo, like a tape deck, a CD player, and it'll, it will be in stereo on that one channel. Now, let's talk about, I don't want to make this video too long, Let's talk about how I hook up my Justin TV broadcast. How do I do that? Well, what do I need to have? I need to be able to play music off of my computer. I need to be able to have a microphone hooked up. And I might want to hook up another thing, like a turntable, a keyboard, if I want to perform you know, on the piano. Um, I might want to hook up my iPad or my iPhone or my iPod, just in case I want to do something off of one of those devices. And that's what the mixer is great for. You can mix all these signals together, and all those signals will come out of here into the computer. And let's trace the signal path um, of all the things that I've got hooked up here when I do my Justin TV broadcast. Well, let's say, here's my microphone. This is my big MXL 990 mic right here. It comes down through here, there's the level, there's the compressor, I can set some EQ settings, um, I can, it usually leaves, I usually leave it in the center, you don't want it panned left or right. Um, it's usually turned on, it's turned up, and I want to send it through the recording output so that you guys can hear it. I don't want to send it through the speaker output because then I'll get feedback. You see how that works? So that's a good thing, okay? Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, these are actually coming from a reverb unit that I have hooked up. So when I put reverb on my voice when I sing, um, those that's where the reverb is coming from. And that's coming from over, somewhere over here where I've got some reverb equipment over there. Okay. Um, the next thing here, now this is the magic part, okay. 
I need to be able to get audio from my computer to my mixer because I need to be able to play music. So what I do is I take audio out of the sound card. Now I know I just said earlier don't use a sound card with your computer, but this is just a broad, live broadcast. It doesn't matter. and You're not doing any serious recording or anything like that. So it's fine to use a sound card on your computer in this way. So what I do is I come out of the speaker or the line out on the back of my computer where you would normally hook it into a set of speakers or an amplifier or whatnot. I come out of there and I come in to my mixer right here. All right. Essentially, what that does is that when I play music on my computer, it's going to come out through here. Oops, wrong button. Okay, so now I can mix my mic and my music. And when I want to talk, I turn my mic up, turn my music down. If I want to plug in a turntable, I can do it here. Or I plug in my iPad for doing Skype calls. Okay, to make it a little bit easier, I have did a little block diagram here. Now you can see the computer there on the left. The output of the computer, the sound card output, is going into one of the channels of the mixer in the center there in blue, along with a microphone and any other audio source that you have. Now on my computer, I'm using Winamp for the music, and I told Winamp to use my sound card instead of the USB. So Winamp is sending its music signals through this out the sound card and that's what's coming into here is the sound card that's how I get the music to come into a channel on my mixer so I can control it out of the mixer we're going into an amplifier or a set of headphones so you can hear what's going on and out of the USB jack of the mixer you're going back into your computer and you're gonna tell your podcasting or a ca casting software to listen to the USB port and use that as the output out onto the internet. Okay, so it takes a little bit of, you know, hands-on to get this stuff all to work. Um, but it just, just look at that diagram. That's exactly how to do it. Remember to make sure that the music's coming out of the sound card of your computer, not out of the USB of your computer. Because once you hook the USB device up, your, your computer will give you an option to send your 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 sound out the USB port, effectively using your mixer as a sound card. And that's how I normally have my settings. But when I'm doing a broadcast, I want the music to come out of the sound card so I can bring it in through an, a strip on my mixer and, and mix it in with all the other stuff. Um, if you want to see this in action, if you want to see how I use this and when I'm actually broadcasting, you can join me on Friday nights, <clears throat> every Friday night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern on justin.tv slash craigtube. We talk about making homebrew. We play great tunes. Um, we take Skype calls. It's a great time. A lot of people are in the chat room and it's a great, great crowd if, you're, if you have nothing else to do on Friday night or if you just want to check out the system that I use in action to see how it sounds on a broadcast or a podcast or whatever it is you're going to do, then you can join me there and I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped a little bit with mixers. Hope to see you Friday night. Cheers and happy recording. Take care.